Yes. So I want to ask you a, a, a question today. Did you notice that for there, for there to be, the answer is go down to verse 2. For thanksgiving for everyone. Now go to verse 2. For kings and all those in authority. Now, if you don't do those four things for kings and all those in authority, what will follow? That he may not live peacefully and quiet. This word quiet is the word. Have you ever noticed every time there's an election? There's, there's no quietness. The nation is always in turmoil. That's what is the opposite of quiet. There's chaos in your life. When you don't pray and you don't choose correctly, and you don't, this will be your after effect. You'll have no peace and there'll be no quietness in the, in the lives. And then it says, in all godliness and holiness. It means God's will will never find expression when the king is wrong, when the request of a king is wrong, and the request of an authority is wrong. It means God already will now judge Kenya. Oh my God. Do you get what I'm telling you? It means if this is who you choose, he knows that he can't stand for crusades, he can't open the churches again, yes, he yes. can't, so God's godliness will not thrive. So you, you will be an after effect of sorrow. So God would have already judged. Have you read a scripture that it says through a king, a matter is established? Yes. So because of this kind of request you made, Kenya is looking the way it's looking. Nigeria is looking the way it's looking. Africa is looking the way it's looking because of what you chose. But if you want now to talk about godliness and holiness, it begins by kings. If you choose this one. And now God, what God now does, he's looking for his moving altar. And once this one is in office, God will now begin to say, oh, godliness, holiness. So he will now enter and he'll begin to do godly things. Anytime he lifts his hand, God is the one that is lifting. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Godliness. It means only things of God will thrive in that land because those in authority are of God. You will look like who you serve. When it comes to holiness, I, no deal will pass on this table of this king. No deal. But yeah, you know, take 50 billion. What he will stand? He will say, what does this mean? No. It's actually God saying it. Look who's holding his hand. Yes. So it will now get to that place. So if God is doing this, what is he doing? Holiness is now. If God is saying, what will your king be saying on earth? Yes. If God says five days of prayer, what will your king be saying? If God says give, what will the king be saying? Give. Because there is a pattern that can host eternity. This is a pattern. So even if he wants to do it with him, he can't even hear. So now notice here, God will be doing this. Notice what he'll be doing. Do something different. <laughs> it means yes. That's the thing you're supposed to do. Brother, yes! Yes! Yeah! The man can't hear. The man is dead. So everything that you will receive is courtesy of a dead man. So even though God wants to do mighty things in Kenya, now you see how revival was chalked. Because those that stood as revivalists did business. So even though God wanted to bring them to pour the Holy Ghost, that's why you now notice God is saying, pray for laborers. Because it's hard to find David, men that are given to God's will. And if one is found, Kenya will take line. If one priest is found in Kenya, Kenya will line. That's what he's saying. And if Kenya again, you choose the kind of man you like, you have chosen the kind of life you've desired. God will not be, there will be no godliness and holiness. I could have continued with this scripture, but it's, it will take us another direction. That's what I wanted to share from a king's perspective. Africa is suffering from this thing because we are choosing. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, can you let God choose for you? Can you trust that God's will, even though it's not you, what you want, it's God's will. Can you trust God for yourself? Can you allow God to show you Jeremiah 29, 11? 
For I know, not we. For I know the plans that I have for you. Says John C. W. Says the Lord. And he told you the characteristics of those plans. They will never harm you. I, I, I never sit down as God contemplating how I will harm you. It's not my, it's not my heart. But to give you peace. You know you. This and, and, and those kind of results they will give you an end that is expected. It means with my plans, you will finish. With your plans, you will dry in between. This is where plans are now shortchanged. When you go by your own will, you will shortchange your plans. When you go by God's will, your life is secure. It's guaranteed. If you enter an aeroplane, because of who you are serving, it's guarantee it will land. It will. Hey, I've been in aeroplanes. The Lord has helped me. 